So today I'm gonna go over how I make my, my mush. Um, people have been requesting that. Um, I fill the box up to this little lip with Royal Canaan Small Puppy Food. Then I do two squirts of salmon oil, a little bit of coconut oil, just like a little tiny dash. I do a scoop of probiotic and then a scoop of yogurt. And I use this cookie scoop for the yogurt. Um, sometimes I add pumpkin to it if I feel like it. Uh, we do have some goat's milk downstairs, but it's a huge container, so I don't really want to, you know, thaw that out. It's only good. I think you have to use it within 14 days of opening, and I don't want to waste it. So once they get a little bit older and um, they're eating more, then I'll add that goat's milk so it goes fast. Then I have some boiling water over here. I'm just going to pour it in until it hits, like... Not overflowing, but pretty close. <laughs> so the food's gonna absorb all of that. The only reason I'm using this cup is because I don't wanna spill it all over my feet. I did that last time and that was not fun, so. It's very, very hot. I'm gonna reserve the rest of this boiled water so that when I'm blending it, I can thin it out. I might even boil some more, but the, the boiled water is really important so that it boils out all those nasty um, water additives and stuff like that um, before you feed your puppies. So now, I have lids. I don't know where I put them. Oh well, oh, here they are. So now I'm just gonna like put this on here. I'll come back in maybe like 20 minutes, mix it up, and then I'll show you how I blend it and what the texture's like. All right guys, so we're going to make our puppy mush now. So I have my food processor, um, my puppy food, which we're just gonna dump right in there. I think that's done. And then I'll show you the consistency. So it's kind of like a loose pudding almost. 
right? Now, instead of using that boiled water, you can always use goat's milk in the beginning or now to thin it out. So like if I had my goat's milk thawed, I would have used that and like boiled water to thin it out, but you can use goat's milk to soak it. Um, you can use espalac, like I've seen some people use espalac. Uh, yeah, that's everything. That's how you make mush.